brother. No doubt. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. His mic Listen, is live. Like I said, we have my man here, you know, repping Virginia Tech defense. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? My man Strong CB in the house. Big Kai Sean Jarrett. What's up, Kai Sean? Hey, how you doing? It's a, it's a pleasure to be on with you guys tonight. Yeah, hey, listen, we could say the same thing, brother. We could say the same thing. Trust me. I got my man, my co host that ride with uh, you with me, my man Max611. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> how you doing, Kai Sean? How you doing? How you doing? You doing well? Yeah, I'm doing well. Just relaxing with the fam. I hear you. I hear you. It's all good, man. You sound good, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Liz, uh, it, like I said, it's a pleasure to have you on. Liz, I just wanted to, uh, you know, go over a couple of questions with you, man. You know, to get, you know, just like I said, let the fans know about you because you're going to be – I think when you're drafted in the NFL, mm-hmm. I think you're going to be a player to watch, to you, honestly, man. Right now, as it stands, my man Kai Sean uh, is ranked, I think, the number four uh, safety in the nation, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> That's right. I, yeah. I believe so. I believe so as well too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, number four, man, that's that's good, brother. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, you're gonna be drafted kind of high. So, you know, I see there's a lot of teams out there, man. They they need a really good strong safety. And I I gotta say, I watched some of your tape and and, and your practice tape, man. You were like knocking cats backwards. There was no falling, uh, you know, one or two yards forward. Now they you were knocking cats back a yard or two. When you put that hit on them, you know, so you're going to do your thing, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, yeah, no. I just want you to, I want to make a statement for myself. So, you know, just let everybody know who I am. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah. That's no good. doubt. Um, all right, let me get this uh, little interview started with you, brother. Uh, let me just ask. I see there were uh, several schools which were interested in recruiting you, such as like Illinois, Stanford, but one of those schools kind of stood out to me, that being Penn State. Um, why didn't you commit there? Um, uh, there's a lot that went on with the uh, recruiting process with Penn State. Um, I know uh, those are one of the uh, very first schools that showed, you know, some pretty great interest in me. And, you know, since I played ball in Pennsylvania, uh, you know, it was definitely a great consideration that you had a great name such as uh, Coach Joe Pye. So, I'm, you know, it was like, man, I could go play under a great coach. And then when I visited the campus, they was the first school I visited. And when you just see, like, how big the stadium, stadium is, that just, like, it persuades you right away. And then um, I remember myself and my brother, uh, we went down there for Penn State versus Ohio State game. And it was one of the best atmospheres I've ever been a part of. And you know, so you know, it was stuff like that that told me, like, man, I could, I can, I could commit right now and just forget about <laughs> all the other schools. But um, you know, it was the best thing that I did wait. You know, I had also had like high school coaches who was like, oh yeah, you got the Penn State offer, you should go, you should go. But it was just like, I'm happy I did wait. Um, you know, it was just uh, it was just like minor, minor things like, uh, I guess certain ways that uh, recruitment was handled that, you know, just didn't go uh, as well as it should have. And, you know, um, and as that was going on, other schools were showing great interest. So now my, my you know, my I'm starting to get persuaded from other places, and that's where, you know, me talking to uh, other coaches and me visiting other schools, you know, and, you know, that's how me not ending up at Penn State kind of happens. Oh, okay. Okay, I hear you, brother, you know? Mm-hmm. No doubt. I mean, I mean, I, like I said, just like you had touched on uh, uh, just a few moments ago, you know, you you know, you know, you're from PA, you know what I'm saying? So it, it would make perfect sense, you know what I'm saying, especially with, with a university like Penn State interested in you, you know what I'm saying? So, But I understand how the process goes sometimes. It, it, sometimes uh, these things just don't work out, you know? Yeah, definitely. Oh, okay. Now, uh, another thing, uh, originally you uh, committed to Pittsburgh, if not, if you, you committed to Pitt, you know? Um now, the thing is, now that you're with uh, Virginia Tech, what made you uh, transfer to Virginia Tech? Okay, well, I can remember, well, I had the opportunity to play varsity football as a freshman. And mm. I, re- I remember the first piece of mail that I ever got from a college, from a college, and it was from the University of Pittsburgh. Now, I didn't know much about them. Uh, mm-hmm. 
But as I did my research, I, I knew that Darrell Rivers came from there. So, you mm-hmm. know, me and, my, so me and my head, I'm like, I'm a corner. I can go there, and I can shut it down just like Darrell Rivers. But <laughs> there, was, there was my very first offer uh, my junior year, and um, I built a great, a very great um, relationship with their coaching staff, Coach Weinstein, Coach Halfley, uh, Coach Angelico, a couple of guys that, you know, who are still, like, you know, pretty good friends to this day. And, um like I said, you know, I built a very good uh, relationship. I went down there for one of their camps, and they were showing me a lot of love, like this is where you need to be and stuff like that. And with that relationship, and I felt like I was able to trust them, and they gave me that, like, feeling that I will be home, away from home. And it just mm-hmm. uh, it, it just felt like a great fit. I prayed on it. You know, my you know my brothers and stuff like that, they was uh, very um, – it was very into the kind of recruiting or, you know, getting strong with the recruiting, like realizing how you get manipulated and how you don't and, you know, who's honest and who's not. So, and they felt like it was a great fit for me as well. But right. then, um, yeah, but then I guess the situation happened when Coach Weinstein got uh, fired or he resigned. So mm. uh, it, I felt like it was best for me best for me to decommit from Pittsburgh um, only because, um, like, I didn't know who was going to come in, uh, no new coaches who was coming in. And after a four-year relationship built with those coaches, it would have just been like, it wouldn't have been the same. So, you know, right. Right, yeah, right after that, as soon as I decommitted, I get a call from Virginia Tech saying, you know, hey, we realize your situation. We're looking for a DB to, you know, to come out here and, you know, pretty much uh, give us something, you know, give us something on the field. And um, I looked into it more and, uh, I committed, and you know I'm blessed to be who I am today. 